Welcome back, ladies and germs. Mr. O here with another episode of Walk Me Through. In this episode, we're going to continue walking you through The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Switch. This is going to be part six. In this episode, we're going to glide from the Tower of Hatano all the way to Hatano Village. And no, I'm not mentioning, I did not mention anything about hentai. Stop that. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? as we meet up with somebody who can help us improve our Sheikah Slate. So, let's go. Okay, here we are at the very pinnacle of, and there's a shrine down there too. Let's glide to it. There is a shrine down there. Uh-oh, I'm running out of stamina. Uh-oh. Shit, I forgot about these guys. Ow! These guys should quit while they're ahead. Yeah, these guys will keep coming alive until their heads have been destroyed and there's another there's a few more of them uh oh oh great just what i don't need another one of my weapons are about to break I? Oh yeah. Ooh, what's this? That's a silent shroom. Nice. Let's move the on over here. Let's mark that. And we will glide over there. <laughs> Man, I hope I don't run into a guardian over here. I don't think I've ever been over on this part of Hyrule in any of my playthroughs. Each time I play through the game, I've never been over... Let's see, where am I? Okay. I hope I don't run into a guardian, because there may be one over here. You never know. Like I said, I've never been over... There's a decayed guardian over there. I just hope to Hylia that it's not alive. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's just get past these guys. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't want to be dealing with these guys. Let's see what sorts of... Hey, there's a... Is that what I think it is? Wait a damn minute. What am I doing way back here? Uh-oh. Big mistake, Jake. Yeah, I should not have come over here. I was like, 
What the hell? Yeah, I should not have come here. And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that place looked familiar. I made a boo-boo big time. Let's check our map and get rid of this marker. Okay, get rid of this marker. That's better. Now, hot to know. Oop, almost fell to my death. I'll always go get my horse later. Let's see, there's the village. And ne nearby, there should be a wooded area where there's going to be... Hip hearty truffles. Well, what I'm doing is I'm gliding over here because there are these... Oh, wait. Please don't rain. It's gonna rain, isn't it? It is gonna rain, isn't it? Anyway. Uh oh. Someone's in trouble. Around here, there are these, uh, yeah, do not want to tangle with those guys, and I knocked something away. Crap. What the hell was it? Not that, that's for sure. What's this? Hey, it's an iron shroom. That should improve our defense. Let's see, what's this? That's a farming hoe. Not ideal for a weapon, but when you're in a pinch, you're pretty much left with no other alternative. There's more of those. Come here. Oh, great. Just that. Just great. Ow! Yeah, that's the thing about things like this. I mean, they sure serve as weapons, but the durability leaves very little to the... Yeah. Leaves a lot to be desired. See what I mean? Yeah, I'm losing... I lose more of my weapons this way. Oh, yeah. Right. There's somebody who was in trouble. You okay now? There should be someone else who's in trouble. Oh wait. These girls were looking for... Yeah, they were looking for hearty truffles. Let's go into Hatano Village. 
we lost a few of our weapons along the way. I've also lost my horse. I left I left my horse over by the tower. So here we are in Hateno Village. So here we are, yeah. Hey! Mm, various stores here. Grocery store. There's a clothing store. Which are also some of these villagers' homes. And here's a place where you can dye your clothes. With a few ingredients that you find along the way. <sighs> now, like any village, there should be a shrine nearby. So, we head on over towards the uh, housing showroom. You'll see a few of the sample houses that can be built. This is the construction company, and these are the samples of houses that can be built for you. And nearby, you guessed it, here's the shrine. And this is going to be one of those shrines that uses motion controls. So, you've got to have a controller that uses motion control in order to use this shrine. The Joy-Cons, I mean the two Joy-Cons connected to a grip or a Pro Controller. I'm using my tried and true neon blue and neon red Joy-Cons that came with my Switch. And they're connected to the charging grip. Since the left side of my Switch, there's an issue with it. Anyway, here we are in the shrine. Now. Here's how I do it. We mosey on over here. So in order to get the gate open, you gotta get the ball over to this hole right there. Now, this is the way I do it. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, I thought I lost the ball for a bit there. Oh shit, that was way too close. Move this ball over here. We'll try again. Get the ball rolling. Not that way. No, this way. Oops. Oh, it looks like I got it right. Nice. I mean, that's one way to do it. And that's how I do it. So, let's clear the shrine and get out of here. And we get another spirit orb. Nice. Now, how many orbs is that? We'll have to see once we get out of here.
Oh, sure enough, it's raining. Won't be able to do that mission thing. Well, I do have... Well, in any case, I have eight spirit orbs. Looks like I have to wait for, for this bad weather to pass. And according to this meteorology meter here, it's going to be rainy, raining for quite some time. Now, there is a goddess statue this way. We mosey on over here towards this house here. There is a goddess statue here, so let's let's pray here. And of course, we're going to get some heart containers because, like I said, I'm going for I'm going for the heart containers long before I even think about taking on the divine beasts, and I'll explain why. That's one. Okay. Now, let's get another one. And... Okay, let's see. How many is that now? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, I need seven more. Oops, did not mean to do that. Now, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and head on over to the place marked on our map. I can't talk. Now, if only I had my horse. Now we're pretty much leaving the village. And there's a whole mess of apple trees there too. take me to the Hatano Research Lab. The right fork will take me to the, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll take me to the Hatano Beach, and that's not where I'm going right now. <sighs> Let's have a look at this sign here. Anyway, moving on. So here we are at the Hatano Ancient Tech Lab. Talk to this little girl here. What's she doing here? Okay. Hi. Hmm. Oh? 
right. Right. Let's go talk to this little girl again. So she was the one who took me to the Shrine of Resurrection. Yes, I do. Right, time to mosey on. I think I'll just mosey on over here. The only problem is it's raining. And it's gonna rain for quite a while. And of course, when you're trying to light something outside, it's damn near impossible in the rain. You see one of these uh, little lanterns here? You gotta light these. See that? Yeah. It's kind of hard to climb anything when it's raining like this. Because when it rains, it makes things very slippery, so... Light over here. I think that's where... That's where we are. That's where the furnace is. But unfortunately, we can't do a thing about it with all this rain. collecting apples here right right there's this furnace down there but because it's raining it's not gonna be easy at all what it can do though is try this oh, oh put that away Switch to another bow and switch to a regular arrow. What I can do is shoot one over there. Well, that didn't help. Nope, that did not help either. 
crap. I mean, it's still raining and that's... Yeah, this is not gonna help. Let's wait a moment. Yeah. Let's sit here and wait a moment. But look what happens when you try to... Where's my torch? Where's my torch? I'll just use this then. See? The rain extinguishes it. It extinguishes any flame you have lit. So... Yeah, I'm gonna be in for one hell of a trek when it stops raining. Gotta get there before my... before whatever I use to light this thing extinguishes. So, let's just sit here and wait a moment. Eventually... Well, looks like the rain let up, but it's still partially cloudy. Right. Let's hurry before it starts to rain again. Now, we are going to be in for one hell of a trek. Okay, wrong way. Went the wrong way. If we mosey on down here, uh oh, how am I gonna do this without my? Let's put this away. Wait, did I light this? Oh, shit! There's another torch over here. Nice. Please don't rain. Please don't start to rain. Shit. Oh, put that away for now. I clearly got lost now. Son of a bleach key. Oh, I'm back over here where the source of the flame is. Light this thing and find our way down. I just have to find a way to get down there without... Oh, there's another torch over here. Nice. Okay, good. All right, now we're getting somewhere. There's another torch over here. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to take a shortcut. Right. Like this. Now the reason why I'm lighting all these is just in case this thing burns up into nothingness. I won't have to go too far to find something else to carry this blue flame with. Now, if I can just make it before it starts to end. Yeah. 
Damn it. Now that's an example of what would happen if you're... Yeah, and I totally went the wrong way as well, I think. Okay, there's the end. I just need something. Let's get this ladle here. Hi. Uh-oh. Right. Well. Right. We gotta hurry. You'll notice that the music also changes during the time of day. When it gets night, the music changes and vice versa. So, here we are. Right. Some things are made for better purposes than weapons. You know, and vice versa. Like this. That way, if this thing breaks on the way, we won't have to go too far to... Yeah. You know. Anyway. Moving on. Oh, shit. shit! Well. I suppose, um... Yeah, there was a torch back in the lab I can go and get. So I don't have to worry so much about getting hurt. Like this. This way. Put that out for now. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's this way then. Yeah, it was this way. there actually wait is there another torch over here no well good thing I went for this torch should have gotten that torch earlier Torch over here. So, what we have to do is light this furnace here. And that, of course, creates another. Yeah, another travel portal. Nice. Put that away. Got that taken care of. <laughs> she kind of sounded like a little... 
one of those sea lions. Snap. Right. What we have here is the camera feature. And here we have the album. And the compendium. Which tells us about various monsters and items and such. Great. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the camera. Back up here. Take a picture of Tura. Well, I think we could try again. We can. Oop, how do I zoom in and out again? Not that one. Excellent. Let's try that again. So those ancient materials that I've been finding under dead guardians can prove very useful in this case. So let's talk to Pura again. Let's talk to yeah. this guy here. Hey. Right, I think we should warp back to Kakariko Village. Yeah, we should warp back to Kakariko.
so here we are back in Kakariko. Maybe we should maybe we should spend the night here. Oh, the innkeeper's sleeping too. Oh. Let me show you what would happen if you were to choose a soft bed. Ooh. Wake me up in the morning, of course. Maybe I'll dream of a cute girl dancing or something. Oh. And of course, you see that? We get a little bit of a temporary boost in our HP. Nice. So let's mosey on over to Impa and see what she has to say about the whole matter of this whole memory loss thing. What time is it? Oh, it's already after eight. So that part's complete. Oh. Now that part is located right in the dead center of Hyrule. But that area is crawling with guardians. Mm. Anybody who stepped foot in that area, they would be killed on sight. Mm. Yeah, like I said, like I said a thousand times, guardians are extremely dangerous. Yeah, guardians are very dangerous creatures. Their lasers can kill you in an instant. You know, while we're here, we might as well cook up something good to eat. Simmered fruit. Let's see what happens when we cook spicy pepper with apples. <laughs> Yum. Hmm. Yummy. See what happens when we cook a silent princess with fruit. Sometimes that happens. Yum. Let's see. Let's cook a silent princess with some mushrooms. Yum. <laughs> Delish. Now there is a store here where you can buy some ingredients. As indicated by that carrot. Mmm, eggs. Ah. Let's buy all of them. Goat butter. Yuck. Swift carrots. Okay. I guess that's all for now. Let's cook up those eggs. Okay. All right. Yummy. An omelet. Fit for a king. Right. Let's check our supplies, I mean. 
yeah, let's check our supplies. Oops, not that. Let's check our supplies. Okay. Looks like we gotta look for some ancient shafts. We got some ancient screws. Lots of them. We need. Well, looks like we gotta go guardian hunting after all. I really don't want to do this, but I have to do this in order to upgrade yeah. my Sheikah Slate farther. And I think there is a Guardian further up north here. Albeit, one of the most dangerous kinds of Guardians, which is the Guardian Stalker. You know what? Let's just warp instead of glide. <laughs> okay, ladies and germs. And of course, it's raining. And there's a part of this province that it'll continue to rain until one of the divine beasts has been appeased. So, now if memory serves me correctly, I think there is a guardian somewhere around here. Now, like I said, guardians can be extremely dangerous. And, yeah, if you're caught by a guardian, if you're shot by a guardian's laser, you you will die. And there's no question about it. You will die. Yeah, there is no question about it that you will get killed if it shoots you. There is a bison over there. Wait. Oh shit! Saw me. Well, Ah, there goes my shield. I wanted to show you something really interesting. Watch. Now, if you were to... Let's do this two more times. You gotta time it just right. Ah, shit! Uh-oh. You can stun it for a while, and you can cut off its legs, provided you have a strong enough sword. Ooh! I... Good thing I had this guardian sword. Well, that's one way to defeat a guardian. Yeah, that's one way to defeat a guardian. Of course, I lost all my shields. Like I was saying, guardians can be extremely dangerous. There's a couple of bisons over there. You know, before we do anything to these bisons, let's have a photo op. Oops. take a picture of that. I should have taken a picture of that guardian. And that's a water buffalo. Let's, let's destroy it. Yeah, I should not have done that. You know, when that music for the Guardian started playing for the first time, my first time playing through, it scared the shit out of me. 
Cause I know how dangerous those guys are. That's why... <laughs> that's why that music scared the shit out of me. So anyway, there's also another kind of enemy. Which is kind of hilarious when you think about it. It's kind of hilarious, but still very dangerous. There it is. Somewhere around there, there is an enemy that has one eye. Yes, you had me at one-eyed creatures, Nintendo. Not only were those guardians one-eyed monsters, <laughs> but oh boy, there is a there is a hilarious monster that lives around here called the Hinox or Hinox or however you pronounce it. Anyway, those guys. Those guys are one-eyed abominations that will throw things at you. They're very powerful. They're very dangerous. But their one weak spot is, of course, their eye. <laughs> there it is over there. Let's take a picture of that one. Now, a lot of these Hinoxes, they have lots of things up. Oh, now I have to fight them. Crap. Big mistake, Jake. Big mistake. Yeah, take that, you one-eyed abomination. You unholy freak of nature. And my guardian sword is about to break. Oh, I really have to fight him now. do not want to get hit by this thing. It hurts like the dickens. Uh oh. Ow! There goes one of my fairies. Crap! Uh oh. Uh oh. Run, 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 run! Hold still, you one-eyed abomination! Uh-oh. Yeah, take that, you one-eyed freak! You can also steal their any weapons that they're carrying. That can prove very useful. Well... Yeah, take that, you unholy abomination. Let's finish this guy off. Uh-oh. Mine. Yeah. yeah, take that, you unholy abomination. Uh-oh. Run. Oh, great. Yeah, take that, you one-eyed abomination. Well, that's one way to take care of a Hinox. Or a Hinox. Yeah, take that, you unholy abomination. Yeah, no more Cyclops. And we get a Hinox tooth. Or Hinox tooth. Gross. And a Hinox toenail. Gross. I'm not sure I want to eat those apples after it's been inside a Cyclops' stomach. Gross. Well, that's one less Cyclops to worry about. Seriously, Nintendo, what is with you in unholy abominations? Especially one-eyed ones. Yeah, Nintendo has this unhealthy obsession with Cyclopses, apparently. Oh. Now what have we got here? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Anyway, where was I? We gotta get to that tower so we can map this place. You wanna be very careful here too. Because at some point it will start to rain continuously in this area. If we move farther east. Oh, can you even swim? <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. My claymore is badly damaged. You gotta get up there somehow. Uh oh. Ow! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh! Oh, great. Up the creek without a weapon. Crap. Well, that takes care of that. The red ones are easy enough to defeat. The blue ones, not so much. Oh. Mine. Ooh, that, one, that was an arrow. <laughs> And there's a dead guardian over here. I hope it's I hope it's actually a dead one and not a live one. Mine. Ooh, an ancient core. Nice. Moving on up here. Now as I said, oh shit. The blue ones are harder to dispatch. The black ones are really, really powerful ones. ranged attacks from now on. Oh great, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Can this day get any worse? arrows now, so we are fucked. Uh, there's some mineral deposits, but our sledge is broken as well. That's not good. Okay, there are some bacoblins up there.
Ooh, what's this? Palm fruit. And a bunch of apples, too. Nice. Let's see what sorts of goodies this guy has. Ooh! Well, wouldn't do me much good, though, because I am out of arrows. Trying to get up there. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Try again. Let's catch our breath and we'll try again. We're actually almost to where we need to be, though. Which is this tower up here. There's also a mineral deposit over here. But like I said, we don't have a sledge. And plus... So here we are in the Lanairu Tower. This is the Lanairu Province. So, because this is the Lanairu Province, we have to... There is also a tower over there as well that we can hopefully get to if we glide far enough. Some towers are just difficult to get to though. Just be aware of that, folks. Because you are going to need to mind your footing and your stamina meter. Because, yeah, you're going to be in for one hell of a climb. I can tell you that right now. Now, we, there's a, there's another tower over there. And there should also be a couple of shrines as well. Oh, moving on. So, let's put a... Yeah, so, yeah, let's download the information. And with that, we now have the map of the Lanairu province. So now we get the map of Lanairu. Nice. Now the right part, now the easternmost part of Lanairu, it's it rains like cats and dogs. It it rains continuously when we go any farther to the east. There is a Zora up here too. There you are. Oh. Oh. There's also a shrine down there, too. Mm. 
Okay, so let's glide on over to that statue. I mean that, not the statue, I mean. Let's glide on over to the, uh, yeah, let's glide on over to this shrine over here. So here we are. A minor test of strength, I think. A minor test of strength. Well, let's just use one of these bokoblin weapons. Let's see what sort That's a Guardian Scout, too. Uh oh. Uh oh. When it does that... This thing's about to break anyway, so let's discard it. Alright, got another guardian sword, a guardian shield, and what else do we have here? Ancient screws, ancient springs, and another ancient screw. Nice. So, let's mosey on over here, collect our reward, and get out of here. Now there are more powerful Guardian Scouts in some of the shrines throughout Hyrule, so be prepared for a one hell of a fight. Let's see what we get in here. We get a Knight's Bow. Nice. Now collect our reward and get out of here. So, as I said before, oh. it'll start to... Oh no! I forgot about this part. There is a blood moon in the sky. Wait. Yeah. I'll explain a little more about the blood moon when it happens again. But basically when a... But what I will say is that when a blood moon happens... You can be rest assured that, yeah, any baddies that you've slain before will be revived by the power of the blood moon. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a hearty truffle. That can prove very useful. Yeah, there's a bunch of those 
guys. Now, as I said before, we're actually heading towards the Elden Province. We mosey on... Uh-oh. Yeah. Let's just ignore them. Just get out of here. Oh, did not mean to do that. Where's my boomerang? Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Alright, you know what? Let's just defeat these guys. Ow! Uh oh. I am gonna die. Let's see this before we kick the bucket. Right. Defeat these guys. Okay. <sighs> nice. A fairy tonic. So... Oh, there's my boomerang. Oh. This guy here. What this thing is? That's a whiz robe. That's an ice whiz robe, so let's just avoid it. We don't have any more arrows to deal with this guy, so we won't deal with this whiz robe. Of course, you already know how whiz robes behave. They disappear and reappear, and then they shoot their magic at you. Ooh, are those fireflies? Yes, those are fireflies. Definitely fireflies. Mine. Oh well. If you move too fast, they'll fly away. And it's already almost morning. Okay, looks like we're crossing into the north, I mean into the Elden province. Not only that. Uh oh. Warning, low battery, please charge now. Wouldn't you know it? Uh-oh. Will you hold still so I can destroy you? That's one less guardian to deal with. Mine. Oh. Oh. 
And we get some coinage. Nice. <clears throat> now the thing about these uh, guardians in those... Well, never mind. We're pretty close to where we need to... Yeah, we are pretty close to a... Uh... Well, what's this? Fine. Hardy Radish. Well, as soon as I get to... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and stop it here. Sorry I'm not getting much done in these videos, but you know how it is. I don't have that much space. In the next video, we're going to do some more exploring and look for some more shrines that we can clear and collect spirit orbs and trade them for heart containers as we explore farther into Hyrule. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. O saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you again next time. Peace. This video's over, but if you enjoyed it, click that like button and give me a comment. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you found it really helpful. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, and if you want to see more, go to my channel and look at more videos. But until next time, this is Mr. O saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you again next time. Peace.